by Lao Tzu. 1. If you can talk about it, it ain't Tao. If it has a name, it's just another thing. Tao doesn't have a name. Names are for ordinary things. Stop wanting stuff. It keeps you from seeing what's real. When you want stuff, all you see are things. Those two sentences mean the same thing. Figure them out, and you've got it made. 2. If something looks beautiful to you, something else must be ugly. If something seems good, something else must seem bad. You can't have something without nothing. If no job is difficult, then no job is easy. Some things are up high, because other things are down low. You know you're listening to music, because it doesn't sound like noise. All that came first, so this must be next. The masters get the job done, without moving a muscle, and get their point across, without saying a word. When things around them fall apart, they stay cool. They don't own much, but they do use whatever's at hand. They do the work without expecting any favors. When they're done, they move on to the next job. That's why their work is so damn good. 3. If you toss compliments around freely, people will waste your time trying to impress you. If you give things too much value, you're going to get ripped off. If you try to please people, you'll just make them pissed. The master leads by clearing the crap out of people's heads and opening their hearts. He lowers their aspirations and makes them suck in their guts. He shows you how to forget what you know and what you want so nobody can push you around. If you think you've got the answers, he'll mess with your head. Stop doing stuff all the time and watch what happens. 4. How much Tao is there? More than you'll ever need. Use all you want. There's plenty more where that came from. You can't see Tao, but it's there. Damned if I know where it came from. It's just always been around. 5. Tao's neutral. It doesn't worry about good or evil. The masters are neutral. They treat everyone the same. Lao Tzu said, Tao is like a bellows. It's empty. But it could help set the world on fire. If you keep using Tao, it works better. If you keep talking about it, it won't make any sense. Be cool. 6. Tao is an eternal mystery. And everything starts with Tao. Everybody has Tao in them. They just have to use it. 7. Tao never stops. Why? Because it isn't trying to accomplish anything. The masters hang back. That's why they're ahead of the game. They don't hang on to things. That's how they manage to keep them. They don't worry about what they can't control. That's why they're always satisfied. 8. Doing the right thing is like water. It's good for all living things, and flows without thinking about where it's going, just like Tao. Keep your feet on the ground. Remember what's important. Be there when people need you. Say what you mean. Be prepared for anything. Do whatever you can, whenever it needs doing. If you don't compare yourself to others, nobody can compare to you. 9. If you drink too much, you get drunk. The engine won't start if you're always tinkering with it. If you hoard wealth, you fall into its clutches. If you crave success, you succumb to failure. Do what you have to do, then walk away. Anything else will drive you nuts. 10. Can you hold on to your ego and still stay focused on Tao? Can you relax your mind and body and brace yourself for a new life? Can you check yourself 
and see past what's in front of your eyes? Can you be a leader and not try to prove you're in charge? Can you deal with what's happening and let it happen? Can you forget what you know and understand what's real? Start a job and see it through. Have things without holding on to them. Do the job without expectation of reward. Lead people without giving orders. That's the way you do it. 11. A wheel has spokes, but it rotates around a hollow center. A pot is made out of clay or glass, but you keep things in the space inside. A house is made of wood or brick, but you live between the walls. We work with something, but we use nothing. 12. Sight obscures. Noise deafens. Desire messes with your heart. The world messes with your mind. A master watches the world, but keeps focused on what's real. 13. Winning can be just as bad as losing. Confidence can mess you up just as much as fear. What does winning can be just as bad as losing mean? If you're down, you might be able to get up. But if you're up, you can get knocked down real fast. Don't worry about the score. Just do what you have to do. Do what you gotta do. Shabbata up. And we just surfing the wave in a Tao Te Ching. Don't you mind us. Not even for a little bit, man. We are back in silent weapons for quiet wars. This is part two. Go get part one. So you know what I mean. Silent weapons for quiet wars. And just to lead into this, man, we're going to head over to the drop, man. Much of hop to everyone who's registered on the site, man. We've gotten over 3,000 people registered, man. So look out for our campaigns, man. We're going to start letting you know everything we're about to, you know what I'm saying, groove to over in the ether. So we appreciate your hop and your support, man. True, true, true love. I mean, this is this is where our headquarters is, man. And much of hop for being a part of Drop Nation. Let go. Let go. Make sure you register because we're about to have a half off all the uh, gear, all of our drop gear, man. So if you register on the site, you will be getting half off. I'll just tell you everything about it. So make sure you register so you get all the emails, man. And you can get uh, suited up, man. Let's get into this 5G kill grid. Love to Isaac 4. Isaac 4 got the drop. <laughs> Always on point, man. This is our drop music supervisor, man. He makes sure, man, that, you know what I mean, all of the flow is flowlistic, fluid, 432 hertz, man, 9 above the barrier, man. So, a hop to Isaac, man, for all the work he's doing as the 432 music director, man, keeping it all the way zoned up. And make sure you're in the chat, man. I mean, right now they're in the chat surfing the wave, man. I see Josef the Real, my man, Hip Tie Battle, man. My jig have been checking in. Love to brother nature <laughs> head over here man password is one two three four to get through the door make sure you register because the password will start changing every month to keep it hijack free man so you already know man i mean round of applause man even the hijack gets up for y'all man this is sparta we are hijack free we are hijack free we are hijack free man templar got to drop <laughs> templar is always powered up it's a groove thing, man. Let go. It's a groove thing, man. That's our Sparta time, man. That's just how it gets down, man. Templar's the gift master, man. So we got the drop over here, man. Go ahead and enjoy. Right now we're in the Torah only sessions. Grown old, and she gave him all that he possesses. And my master had me take an oath saying, Do not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanite in whose land I dwell, unless you go to my father's Gee. house and to my family and take a wife for my son. And I said to my master, perhaps the woman will not follow me. And he replied and said, Hawa, 
before whom I have walked, will send his angel with me and make your journey successful, and you will take a wife for my son from the family of my father's house. Then you will be absolved from my oath. When you have come to my family, and if they will not give her to you, then you shall be absolved. Where's your sword, Naga? All your swords are in museums, man. What happens when you touch your swords again? It is silent weapons for quiet wars. They want more love to Isaac for let go. All right, folks, this is Joe Briano, and once again, we're in a lot of trouble. You know, I don't know why people seem to think it's okay to let them get irradiated. I don't understand what's the matter with you people. Do you think these systems that they're putting up on these towers are there so you can watch Netflix and play video games on your phone while you're taking a dump? Mm. Do you not realize what is in store for people right now? Do you realize what they're doing with this stuff? Do you realize what this stuff does? These towers are weaponry. These systems are weaponized. I'm going to go over a couple things with you. I've gone over a lot of things in the past, but I'm going to keep hitting on this because it's not sinking in. Most people are in a trance. Most people are zombies. Most people are self-absorbed, myopic children, even though they're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, even 80 years old. They just want to go and stare at the TV and cuddle up with their little blankie and stay on their merry-go-round and microwave their hot pockets. Folks, we are being herded into the compact cities, and they're putting the towers in. Now they're going to be putting in the microcells instead of these huge towers that are already in place with power generating systems the size of shipping containers next to them, with cables four and five inches in diameter capable of handling hundreds of thousands of volts, what, for five watts of power? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. What's coming is a kill grid. Make no bones about it. These people, tell your kids we're overpopulated. These people that run things, like Mr. Gates, Prince Philip, Mr. Rockefeller, the Rothschilds, all these people talk about how to reduce the population to 95% down from what it is right now. We are in the midst of a silent war. They're not going to fire a shot, folks. They're going to cook you. Silent weapons, quiet war. And they're going to do it with invisible radio frequency emissions that you're addicted to and in love with because your junk works. No matter where you go, you got to have your text, you got to have your emails, you got to check your Facebook. Look, I know, I'm a salesman, I'm on the road, I'm in the field, I'm in the office, I need to be in touch with people, people need to be in touch with me. I'm a researcher, I'm an activist, I need to be in touch with people, people need to be in touch with me. But at what cost? Now, the frequencies that they're deploying are weaponized frequencies. And I'm going to explain this to you. Right now, the Wi-Fi in your house is 2.4 gigahertz. That's the frequency that that stuff broadcasts on. Now, you can't open up a radio station without an FCC license. You've got to have a license to broadcast, and you've got to be given access to certain frequencies to broadcast on. That's called Spectrum. They allot certain Spectrum to certain companies, and if you haven't figured it out, your parents and your grandparents were watching the idiot box on the Spectrum that was opened up 80 years ago and the radio stations and the TV stations are controlled by five companies. Now they're probably controlled by three or two. They have been feeding you lies for decades and decades and decades. You can't broadcast unless the FCC gives you a license. Now what they've done is the most harmful frequencies imaginable. You know, the 2.4 gigahertz, that happens to be the frequency that the water molecules start to rotate on their axis when they're hit with the radio frequency emissions at that particular frequency. Mm -hmm. Why are they messing with the water molecules? Well, <coughs> we're 70% water, and they know what this stuff does. So what the Don't they always poison our water? Isn't it always necromancy? All right, so right now the Wi-Fi in your crib 
in my crib. I got Wi-Fi, man. Somebody left me a comment before, man. Hey, man, you need to, you know, go back to that, uh, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying, whatever you call it, that cable shit, man. You know, just plug it in, man, because the wi I mean, this is what we're getting, you know, the awareness on, man. So that 2.4 is the frequency that they can affect the water molecules in your body. Now watch how they move to 5G. It's going to go into the ether now, the oxygen. They're going to affect the oxygen. Let's get it. What the SEC did is they opened up that frequency band, that part of the spectrum, to everybody. You don't need a license to broadcast on it. And you know what that did? That virtually ensures complete proliferation and saturation of radio frequency emissions in that part of the spectrum. Mm. In other words, they want to bathe you in the frequency that messes with the water molecules. Mm. Is that a good idea? Why? That's not a good idea. Maybe you're not aware of this. So they got you addicted to Wi-Fi and your gadgets. They're doubling down now because they're coming out with a new frequency. Because they claim that you can't get enough of your Netflix and enough of your stupid movies or whatever you have to check that these frequencies are getting congested. There's too much traffic. It's a bunch of freaking hogwash, folks. Everything works just fine right now. The systems that are in place with these towers is so overkill it's not even funny. They could run 100,000 times more devices than they're using right now. They got you addicted to these devices. Now they're going to bring a new technology up. This really scares me to go into this because this is the end. They've opened up, the FCC's opened up the millimeter wave band and they're going to be broadcasting on 60 gigahertz, folks. Wi-Fi right now is using the frequency of water molecules. Their, their rotation on their axis begins at 2.4 gigahertz. In other words, that's, that's the spot on the spectrum of the trillions of frequencies. That's the spot on the spectrum where the maximum dielectric loss of water begins. That's a fancy term for when they start rotating, trying to line up to, to, to keep pace with the alternate, alternating field, electromagnetic field. So it causes water molecules to vibrate on their axis. Well, they're going to use 60 gigahertz for the new 5G and the new Wi-Fi. It's called Y-Gig, mm. okay? You need to understand something. This stuff is wicked. Because 60 gigahertz is the oxygen molecule absorption spectrum. I repeat that. This is the frequency that the, that the oxygen molecules start reacting to. Bang. I just need you to meditate. Do I need to get the water flowing? You all right? Told you Isaac Ford got the drop. Real speed. <laughs> Man. This shit is deep. It really is cold X, man. You know? You're being fucked with. I mean, when we say it's a frequency war, we're just scraping the surface, man. It's frequency war. Everything they're rolling out it's for destruction. But for them, it's chaos to bring on a new order, right? Silent weapon, quiet war. So they're using Wi-Fi to mess with the water. They're going to use Y-Gig and 5G to mess with the oxygen. Now, this crap doesn't travel far, so they got to put them really close together. They're going to put these little transmitters all over the light poles, telephone poles, light poles, public buildings, and you've got to put it in your house. Because the crap's not going to work. And I keep saying crap because this is crap. It's a weapon. And they're going to get you to go to Costco and bring it home in big boxes. And you're going to put it all over your house because you're stupid. Mm. And you're not listening to me. Mm. You need to understand something. You need to stop killing yourselves. Okay? That's what these people have managed to get you to do. They have managed to get you to kill yourselves and enjoy it. And kill your children and pay for it. Why gig? 5G, 60 gigahertz. Get that through your skulls. You don't mess with oxygen molecules. Oxygen is in the air. We breathe it. It comes from the trees. Trees make it out of carbon dioxide. I think we've all been taught this. It's two oxygen molecules, and they share electrons. When you hit oxygen molecules, 
with 60 gigahertz millimeter wave emissions. It affects the orbital properties of the electrons of the oxygen molecules. Now, why is that important? How is oxygen absorbed into your body? Well, it's pretty complicated and it's miraculous what God has done, how he's created our bodies and he's created these mechanisms and he created a molecule called hemoglobin and it binds to the iron. You know that iron is magnetic. Have you ever heard of the word magnetobiology? If any of you out there are physicians or doctors or physicists or biochemists or any type of researchers, I bet you've never heard of that field of study. I Magnetobiology, I mean, it's, it's worth at least pulling up to see if we can get some type of drop on that. I mean, we're, we're digging on it together. And just put it in. I don't know how to spell it. Magnetobiology. Yeah, something like that. And man, it's not like that. What we got? What we got? <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got. Some basic stuff. Magneto. Biology, the study of bio, biological effects of mainly weak static and low frequency magnetic fields which do not cause heating of tissues. Magnetobiological effects have unique features that obviously distinguish them from thermal effects. Often they are observed for altering magnetic fields. Whoa. Wow, silent weapons, <laughs> quiet wars, magneto, 